时候。You know, Mingyue talks a lot about you guys at home. I actually wanted to invite you over for dinner a long time ago, but I was too busy at work. <laughs> it's okay, <laughs> Mrs. Chi. Maybe next time. <laughs> Mom, you take the order. You visit this place a lot. Do it. What should I order? You can order whatever you want, dear. Ling Xiao, you're such an excellent student. You took the IELTS. Are you going to study abroad? No, I'm not. My teacher just asked me to take the test. Oh, but did your teachers recommend you to any school? Yes, they did. But it's not the university I want. Taking the test is no different for me. <sighs> That's true. I'm sure you'll do well. Then after that, you can choose which university you want. <laughs> you know, I really think the three of you are such exceptional students. <laughs> In fact, Mingyue told me that Jen Jen won an award for wood carving. Yeah. That's so amazing. <laughs> Who taught you how to do wood carving? Actually, I found out about it through a carving forum. And there, I met so many skilled craftsmen. They uploaded some tutorials online. That's how I learned how to do it. You learned it online? Yep. Oh, what made you decide in joining a competition? I never really thought about it. I just randomly made a small handicraft for my brother, and he decided to bring it to the competition. Oh, your brother did that? Jin Jin may not be a very good student, but she's artistic. If she wins the competition, she could get a scholarship or receive a recommendation. We'll all go to Beijing for college. I'm not sure if I can pass the examination. <laughs> Art school's got a low admission score, but I'm sure you'll pass it. But how about Hazu Zhou? What university are you going to? I don't know. Maybe RUC or BJTU. How about BJTU? You can be a traffic enforcer someday. <laughs> A traffic enforcer right after graduation? Wouldn't that be a waste of talent then? <laughs> she's right. Mingyue wants to be a lawyer someday. That's why she's going to attend CUPL. So this means you'll be far away from home. All of you should watch mm. over each other. Are you ready to order? Yeah, sure. What do you want to eat? Uh, I'd like to order one boiled pork, uh, and some beef ribs and pepper eggplant. Do you have some recommendations? I'd suggest... <sighs> Whenever I ask you to order, you get the same things. There are other people here. Why don't you ask them what they want to order? Don't worry uh, about it. We're not very picky. <laughs> Waiter, forget about the boiled pork. Do you have fresh fish available here? Yes, it was delivered this morning. Oh. Change it to boiled fish then. Serve the whole fish. I want to see the fish head. Okay. Are your shrimp dishes good too? Um, you can check the fish tank over there. We have a variety of fresh seafood. All right then, please show me where it is. You can chat for a bit while I check on the seafood, okay? Sure, ma'am. <laughs> My mom is quite particular when it comes to food. 
I had no idea you wanted to be a lawyer. To be honest, that's not what I really want. It's my mom who keeps pushing me to become one. Oh goodness, I'm so glad our dads didn't do that. What do you mean? Just shut up, they're treating us to dinner. The dishes aren't here yet. Mm -hmm. So no. <laughs> Tell me, why were you staring at Hazucho when we were having dinner? No, I wasn't doing that, Mom. How could you think that? I was seated right across him at the table. I didn't mean anything bad. Why are you upset? You spend so much time trying to look good. Don't get carried away by those things. If you manage to become first in your class and do well like Ling Xiao, you are going to glow in the dark. Ling Xiao doesn't glow in the dark. How dare you talk back? I know exactly what you're thinking about. You can't hide anything from me. Really? A bow knot? All right, you can go now. Come home early, okay? Be safe. Bye, Mom. <sighs> they beat you by a mile. your tooth extracted when the inflammation diminishes, okay? Huh? It's really a problem if you suffer a relapse. If that's the case, can I skip school tomorrow? We'll see about that. High fever means more pain. <sighs> yeah, come on. Show me what you've got. Give me more. Zucho, huh? this is from your dad. My dad? Yeah. Thank you. I got the class notes. Can you... Hazucho! Hey, man. Someone delivered food. He said he's your dad. Hey, man. We just found out today that you're a foster child. You're so lucky, dude. Your father looks pretty wealthy. You found your real dad. You gotta throw a huge party. Crazy. Dude, what are you doing? How could you be so insensitive? Excuse me, where did Hazucha go? Oh, he'll talk to his real dad. His real dad? Chao Guang! Zucho, Zucho! Stop Let it, me enough. go! I don't want to see you again. I'll never accept you. I want nothing to do with you! Don't waste your time! Zucho, let's go! Stay away from me! Hey. How could my own son treat me like this? So, did you tell your dad about your biological father? Have you lost your mind? Why did you do that? I treat you as a brother. 
but you treat me like a joke. How could you say that to me, huh? Hey. All right, fine. It's all my fault. Sorry. Can't you just forget about it? What if he goes to your dad then? Why, who does he think he is? Okay, but why did he look for you then, huh? If he has a good reason, why would he stop trying to find you? If he couldn't convince you, he might look for your dad. If I were you, I would tell my dad about what happened. We'll see. Stay out of it. Relax. Everything will be fine. Calm down. It's fine. Relax. Breathe. Take it easy. I want to use the toilet. Jen Jen, you were there five minutes ago. Calm down. They'll put some anesthesia. Relax. Lee Jen Jen? Who is Lee Jen Jen? She's here. Please follow me. Hey, Jen Jen, look at me. Take a deep breath. Yes, there you go. Feel better? It's okay. I'm right here. Hmm? I won't leave you. Hmm? Let's go. Come on. It's okay. It's not gonna hurt much. Promise. Are you sure? Jen Jen. Jen Jen. Jen Jen. What are you thinking? It's okay. I'm here. Your brother is so nice to you. Just try to relax. The more nervous you feel, the harder right. it will be. After the anesthesia, you won't feel a thing. I still so don't worry, it won't hurt. Okay, here we go. Come on. Ah, uh, open your mouth. Ah, uh, yeah, that's it. Feeling better holding my hand? You can eat ice cream for two days. It'll help with the swelling, okay? What's wrong? Why are you quiet? What are you thinking? I just thought you'd probably make a good dentist. If I'm your dentist, you won't be scared? Yes, I will. I'm really scared of going to the dentist. That girl hit me with a hammer earlier. Don't ask me questions. I don't want to remember. Here are Friday's class notes. And here's your textbook. I brought it to you, okay? And this is the homework for the weekend. Mm. I had such a miserable time. Enough with that. Could you stop torturing me anymore? Will you calm down? I'm monitoring you and I'm your good friend. I have to supervise you on your homework, okay? You don't need to do that. It hurts. Why didn't you go to school today? I skipped class. <laughs> what if your mom finds out? No, she won't. My grandma's been in the hospital these past few days. She won't notice me at all. Where's Hazucho? Oh, helping out in the resto. You two have fun. Oh, wait. Is Hazucho doing all right? Huh? Yes, why ask? He got really upset about his biological father. His real dad? Where did he come from? What are you talking about? Wait, you don't know about him? What about him? 
I don't really know much, guys. I was just going to show him the notes yesterday, and I saw him running around and visibly upset. His basketball friends told me that his real father visited him, and his father brought him a lot of snacks. This is making my tooth hurt. You mean, he didn't tell you about it? Sicho! Oh. How is it? Does it still hurt? Oh, Chiming. Did Chao Guang visit you today? Why? Did he come here? Where is she? I thought he went to school to look for you. How did you know? Chi Mingye told us. What's wrong? What happened? I don't want to talk to him. Have you seen him before? A few times. Why didn't you tell us? I told you I don't want to talk to him. I hate him so much. There's nothing to say. Don't just stand there like guards. I need to prepare the vegetables. Hesi Cho, don't change the subject. What does he want from you? He wants me back. I refused. Why don't you mind your own business? I'm sorry. I thought You thought you... telling them is the right thing to do, right? I said nothing about it because I don't want them to know. You got nothing better to do? If you're bored, why don't you take more tutoring classes instead? Why do you have to be so rude? I'm sorry. Hey! Mingyue! Mingyue! Hold on! I'm so sorry. What's the matter? Don't take it personally! I'll hit him for you! You said you wanted to eat with us. Please don't go. Mingyue! Stay here. Let me... Convince her to come back. Chi Mingye. Don't go. Su Cho can be straightforward. Don't take it personally. It's fine. I shouldn't have said that. I know you care about him. Why should I? He doesn't care. We're not even friends. You don't consider him your friend? I don't. He's just my best friend's brother. He's like a street cat. You can feed it, but you can't pet it. If it's not in the mood, it might end up scratching you all over. You wouldn't even notice it, that you got pissed off by him. It's typical. As my dad says, he can be too insensitive. I'm the insensitive one. Azucho has a point. If Jinjin knows about it, she would have already told me about him. It's my fault. It's obviously Zucho's fault. Why do you always blame yourself for everything? Because it really is my fault this time. If your friends get upset with something, will you ask them why? What's wrong with feeling that way? Is it really wrong? Is it really okay? But Hazucho seems pretty angry about it. So you think it's your fault because he's feeling angry? If so, that's a problem. I can't seem to do anything right anymore. I always cause trouble to everyone. I have a tip for you. Next time you or your mom think that you've done something wrong, think about it this way. If your actions were done by someone else, is it still wrong? Judge yourself through that. You're an amazing person. You're pretty and kind-hearted. And you always want to make your mom proud. Your only problem is you lack self-confidence. You doubt yourself. You have to learn to judge your own actions. Don't be too hard on yourself. Don't mind what they say. What's the matter? Xiao, where's Mingyue? She already left. Really? Did she leave crying? 
She left with a smile. What happened? Chawagwong wants him back. I'm being serious. Why don't you tell us about it? I've told you this already. There's nothing else to say. Dad is busy. I don't want him to worry because of me. Shall we tell Dad or not? Never mind. Since he thinks we're not involved here, let's leave him alone. He can decide. <laughs> My tooth hurts. Come on now, go back to bed. Problem? It's nothing. It's nothing. Dad, the stove you made is so delicious. Here, have some. You? Ling Xiao, I want some tofu. Ling Xiao, have more meat. You should have some too. I'll have some later. Have some more meat. Thanks, Dad. Don't mind them. They only got a few months left here. Once Ling Xiao and Zhu Chou leaves for college at Beijing, we will only have Jian Jian at home, right? Less trouble. <laughs> Jian Jian is more stubborn than them. <laughs> the moment she leaves the house, we'll be free from worry. <laughs> you say that, but you know that's not true. <laughs> Hey, Hai Chao, your phone. I'm busy right now. Who is it? I don't know. It's an unknown number. Can you answer it? Okay. Hello? Here's your noodles. Oh, I'm not Li Hai Chao. Who is this? Hope you enjoy. Oh, all right then. I'll give the phone to him now. Who is it? I don't know. He said he's Chou Waguang. Who's Zhao Waguang? Which room does Sucho stay in? The one in front of you. Really? Isn't it a bit too small? It was a utility room. So after Zucho came here, I got him a small bed. How can he fit in here? Hey! Don't go inside. I'll just take a look. I won't touch his stuff. Take a seat. Have some water. Sit down. Hey! You're back early today. Yeah. Not a hectic day? <sighs> Looks like we've got a valued visitor. Anyway, let me introduce him. He's Zucho's godfather. A policeman. <laughs> That's right. I'm Ling Hao Ping. I live upstairs. Godfather? Yeah. <laughs> Sit down. Sit down. Uh, I'm the one who took your call. We didn't even realize who you were at first. Right. Uh, did Su Cho ever mention anything about me? Well, 
His grandma used to mention you a lot when she was still alive. And later on, his aunt would talk about you occasionally. She never said good things about you. That's why when your name came up, I was quite... What's his name? Zhao Waguang. Right. Zhao Waguang. <laughs> we suddenly remembered you. Oh, I'm glad to know. I think I'm going to... discuss matters about Su Cho with his foster father later on. As a neighbor, could you give us a chance to talk privately? He's not a neighbor. He's Zhu Cho's godfather, huh? We're family here. Just tell us both what you want to say. I don't think it's appropriate to talk about personal matters in front of your neighbor. Ah. Uh, to be honest, I've seen Su Cho several times already. He should have told you about it. What are you trying to say? Do you have a problem with us? Why didn't you inform us first? Why did you go straight to him? I did think that it should be more proper if I met with Su Cho's foster father first and talked about it. What do you mean by should? You must talk to him about I it. I get it, but Su Cho's not a kid anymore. I wanted to meet with him first and ask about his opinion. Hmm, that's right. Don't get me wrong, we do respect whatever decision he makes, you know? But tell me, why did you decide to talk to us? I'd like to tell you about my current situation. I've been living abroad for some time. I do export trading. I'm sure you figure that, well, I have a lot of money. But sadly, my wife and I have had no luck in having our own child. When she heard that I have a child with my ex-wife, she told me, listen, we're already rich enough. It's unreasonable to turn a blind eye on your own child. It's unreasonable? Look, I don't understand what you're talking about. Uh, I've already looked into Su Cho's current situation. I know you didn't marry Hermé, did you? And I found out Su Cho's registered at his grandma's residence booklet. That only means, Mr. Lee, there's no actual relationship between you and Su Cho. And I know that you're the one who raised him. How kind of you to do that. I'm so grateful for it. I want to say thank you from the bottom of my Enough heart. Enough of this. I know what you're trying to do. You want to take Zucho back, right? <laughs> I'm sure you know why Hermé left you, right? She decided to leave you because you can't provide for her. And she asked for a divorce and left me for the same reason. I used to be poor just like you. It's not that I didn't care. I just didn't want Sucho back knowing I can't give him the best life he deserves. But things are a lot different now. I just want to make it up to him somehow. <laughs> you honestly think we believe all the crap? Huh? You were poor so you chose to abandon your son? Now you're telling us you want your son back? Because you have the money already? Hey, do you think your son was brought up without any hardship? It was tough. Raising him was not easy. It's different. That's not what I mean. Then what do you mean? Mr. Lee, I know that you're smart. If you truly want the best for the kid's future, I think that you should let him accept me. I know this will benefit all of us. You agree? You probably spent 300000 to raise the boy all these years, right? How about... I give you one million as compensation for all you've done. How much? One million. A million? That's right. Oh. I've never been that rich. <laughs> I've never had that much money my whole life. Yeah, me neither. A million is a lot of money. It, it, it's probably this big. Who knows, maybe it's a lot bigger than that. I don't think I'll ever make that much money in my lifetime. I'll have to sell a lot of noodles. <laughs> it's no big deal. <laughs> hey, wait! You poor wretch! Have you lost your mind? You lowlife! Hey, Su Cho. Nice seeing you. Hey! What are you doing here? Got lost! How dare you disrespect your own father like this? How many times do I have to tell you before you realize that I don't see you as my father? Why would you rather have him as your father when you have me? If he's a better man, he wouldn't let you live in this dumpster. He should let you study abroad and live with me if he wants what's best for you! Hey, Su Cho! Who gives you the right to insult us like this? You know nothing about us! Enough! Calm down! Just ignore him, Su Cho. One. You. 
Close the show. You're gonna regret this. You know I'm better for you. had the nerve to come here and call us poor. He even said that we won't amount to anything at all. Oh, Jin Jin, don't take what he said as truth. You know that nothing good comes out of his mouth. I wish you saw how cool your dad was earlier. For a while there, I thought he was going to get bullied. As a policeman, I won't allow that. It's my duty to protect you from them. Turns out, your dad's not a coward. He pushed him. He said, get lost, and kicked him out. Whoa, my dad is so cool. <laughs> now it's time to eat. Sit down, guys. Could you please bring in the soup? Oh, sure, no problem. Your dad tried to talk to you. Why didn't you tell me? Huh? You shouldn't have kept it from me, you know? I'm really sorry, Dad. It's my fault. You too. Did you know about it? Yeah. But he didn't want us to tell you about it. I told him that it's not my father. I even threw out the clothes and shoes he bought from me. Did that stop him? You're going to take the examination in a month. Huh? What if you fail the test? Do you want to throw away your future and mess up your studies because of him? All your hard work will be for nothing in the end. Is it worth it? You want to repeat grade 12? You're not kids anymore. But you should know better than this. This is not the proper way to handle a problem. You should ask us for help. There's no shame in that. I just didn't want you to worry. Especially about this. I'll always worry no matter what. You think it'll stop me if I didn't know about this whole thing? What should I do? What do you want to do? If you don't want to accept him, he has no choice. Even if he goes to court, he can't do anything. He's right. If he harasses you again, just call the police. Let me talk to him. Yes, or we'll end up in That's court. That's right. Huh? I'll hire a good lawyer. We can spend money for that. In fact, there is a lawyer who often eats at our restaurant. I'm going to hire him mm. if we need to. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> wow. See, we're good. Problem solved. How is it solved? <laughs> you heard what Dad said, right? We're going to see him in court. Why are they all so shameless? A rich wife just left. Here comes a fat cat. And all of a sudden, they want to take over our restaurant? Since when did you learn to use those words? I've never heard you talk that way. <laughs> Jen Jen, you should stop reading those online novels. Focus on the competition. Fine. What's that? The competition? There's gonna be a green onion cup held in the holidays. Oh. Sort of a live sculpture contest or something. <laughs> I don't know such a thing. Mm -hmm. Hey, what if you don't know how to carve on sight? That would be so embarrassing. It's fine. I can always try again. <laughs> this girl's not scared of anything. <laughs> She's a dummy. No, you're the dummy. Delicious. Zucho. Yes? I know you feel like you owe this family ever since you were little. 
So you want to make up for everything? You always do chores. Did the laundry. Cleaned up the rooms. And helped in the restaurant. You're so good. To Jenjin and Ling Xiao. You're a nice brother to them. Dad, don't say that. I wanted to do it for you. The truth is... Jen Jen's mother died with a... baby in her womb. It was a boy. And... Jen Jen would always tell her, Mom, I want a big brother. Not a little brother. That's what I want. And then you came into our lives. So I thought to myself, this is such a miracle. God is so kind to me. Jen Jen has a big brother, finally. And I can be a father again. And nobody knows what's going to happen in the future. We have no control. And maybe it's something amazing, or it could also bring us pain. But if something bad happens to us, maybe it's meant to bring something better. It might be a blessing in disguise. You're right. That's what I meant. I want you to know, Sucho, no matter what happens to you, I'll always be here. So don't worry, okay? I know that. Thanks, Dad. As long as you grow up healthy and happy, I'll be able to sleep better at night. That's all I could wish for. And the time will come that I'll be old and gray. Don't you worry, Dad. I will never leave your side. <laughs> I know that. I'll try not to worry. Go ahead, finish your homework. Don't forget your milk, okay? Sure. You sleep well, Dad. Good night. We'll wait for our fruit tea, huh? Oh, Miss Tang, thank you for treating us some food and drinks. Don't worry about it. I make some money now. It's my treat. Mm -hmm. It must be great shooting a movie. You can meet celebrities. Hey, Miss Tang, have you met Josh Shin? No, I haven't. But I'm sure it's not impossible for me to work with her in the future. Mm. I'm just curious. Are you going to the Film Academy? If you decide to join, what preparation should you make? Do you want to go to film school and be an actress? Do you think I'm qualified? Hmm... I'm not very sure if you have what it takes or not. Why don't you cry in one minute? Cry in one minute? Yes, of course. Can you do it? I want you to teach me, Miss Tang. Okay. It takes skill to cry. You have to let your emotions take over first. Think about an experience that would make you so sad. <laughs> hey, Miss. Is our fruit tea ready? In a bit. Li Jen Jen, why were you laughing? Oh, it's nothing. Hey, Mingyue, do you think I should open a training class or something? I mean, the lesson in our class is someone else's teacher now. What do you mean by that? I didn't mean anything. We should all learn from Miss Tang. Hey, Miss Tang, just ignore her. She's jealous of you. Did you know Tang Sin is a child star now? She's well experienced. People respect her and she has commercials. And even if she doesn't work hard, she got rich parents to support her. Her dad's in logistics business, and her mom works in a World 500 company. Come on, tell her what else. And now she's going to be Miss Tang's full-time agent too. 
And when Miss Tang becomes a popular celebrity around the country someday, I'm pretty sure the last third of our classmates are going to end up as dishwashers at some cheap little restaurant. A dishwasher? <laughs> Excuse me. Listen up. Huh? Uh, you might not know somebody named Huzi Cho at school, but I'm sure you've heard about Ling Xia, who's always top rank in the transcript posted on the bulletin boards at school. Who cares about them? Well, he's Lee Jen Jen's brother. And Lee Jen Jen also has another brother who's doing very well at school, too. The point is, tell them. Their dishes are never hers to wash in the first place. <laughs> the drinks are ready! Coming! <laughs> Thanks. Looks like I'm destined to be a happy rice weevil for the rest of my life. Let's mm. go, weevil. Let's take the fruit tea to your brothers mm. now. How could they get three kids in their family when we're only allowed to have one? They're not biological siblings. <laughs> Can you stop making fun of Tang Tan? I can't stand her. She acts like a know-it-all. So you admit that she's good at acting. <laughs> hey, Lee Jan Jan. You can bring that to your brothers. I'll go back to the classroom. I haven't finished my homework yet. Are you still mad at Zichu? Don't worry, I told him to apologize to you. No, I'm not. I really have to study. My mom will check it later. See you. Mingye! Oh. Listen, you want to be a lawyer, don't you? You think I could win this lawsuit? <laughs> what are you saying? It's just my dad and I are not on the same residence booklet. Well, legally speaking. <laughs> Are you an idiot? You don't need a lawsuit. You're turning 18, you don't need a guardian. Besides, he didn't raise you, right? Technically, you can accept him or not. But if I were you, don't reject him. Never turn against money. It's not easy for your dad to run the restaurant, you know? I can make money by myself. I don't need his money. See that? You're so stubborn. Zichu! I brought you Could fruit Could you put tea. the straw for me? Is that for me? Thanks a lot. No, it's not. It's for my brother. Anyway, see you. You take care. It's nice having a sister. <laughs> You're so disgusting. Just like. 